I'm at the airport and I've got uh, $277 on, but the time is only $244. I've been relatively busy tonight, uh, but at no time did I feel particularly rushed. I did have some good luck in that I had uh, a fare that went out to Langford for $35 and I had a couple more fares in the $20 range, which were really good. And uh, I've done, I think, 15 trips so far. This one here that I took to the airport is a guy who works out here. And I've brought him out here a few times when he picks up an extra shift and uh, didn't manage to get a ride or there's no bus going. Um, I've brought him out here, yeah, a number of times already. I just never mentioned it before. Anyways, um, things are going good tonight. I don't feel particularly stressed. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've only got, uh, what did I say, three hours left to go? Yeah. Well, uh... If I didn't mention it yet, Mr. Punctual quit last week. Um, he had trouble with uh, logging on uh, to the uh, tablet because we were having some problems with the charging cable, and so was he. And because we have nobody working in our office anymore during the daytime or at night, at least not on weekends, um, he basically sent, sent a note to the uh, owner of the cab that uh, he can't work for an organization that uh, doesn't stand behind him. So he's done with driving taxis. Yeah, that's the end of that. No more Mr. Punctual. I won't mention him again. <laughs> so now we got a new driver um, working Sundays and or at least this week, Sunday and Monday. I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing or what. I couldn't tell you. But we have another driver on the car. I received the note uh, last night when I came before coming to work that uh, we have uh, the driver that was on the car today will be on the car tomorrow. So yeah, okay, I'll I'll bring the car back on time. That should be that. Okay. My night is uh, just about over. Time is 5.37. I've got just enough time to go to the bank and make a deposit. Once I made a deposit at the bank, I got to fuel up. And then um, that's it. I've got uh, $360 on approximately. That's not too shabby. The morning hours were relaxed. I didn't have to do a lot of rushing around. I didn't do much sleeping, but I did watch some videos. Whoop, turn that off. Whoa, a lot of cop action over at the homeless shelter. Great. Not something I want to deal with. I'm out of here. Yep, just heading to the bank. Just going to make a deposit. And that's going to be that. And so I've got uh, four more nights to go this week. The Monday night started off slow. It was quiet. I got a trip right away. But then I had to wait an hour for the second one, and wait an hour for the third one, and wait another hour for another one after that. But then what happened was uh, something really great. Well, great and distressing at the same time. Uh, I got really busy around nine o'clock, and it was busy until about one, and then it went flat dead, which is fine. It gave me a chance to uh, watch some video and fall asleep and take it easy 
and then I got my next call at about oh, what the hell time was it 2.30 or so and it was cancelled immediately as soon as I started to move to go to it it was cancelled so I had to wait till another call just after just around 3 it was a time call somebody was going to the airport okay I got her to the airport and as we were getting on the highway on the way out to the airport there was a message on here saying um, need four 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 comma five cars needed at the airport and I said well that's convenient I'm heading in that direction so I get up there I get paid sixty dollars for taking my customer out there then I went to arrivals and I pulled in and I saw some people with luggage and another car pulled in behind me and the people with luggage were going to him oh but then some people were coming out of the terminal and I loaded them and then they went into town for another I think it was $55 but they gave me 67 so it was wonderful straight out and straight back so this is why I did not record a segment from there is because I knew I was going to be lo I, I was pretty sure I was going to be loading right away and that's what happened since then I had one or two more trips and my total I did $360 not at all bad not bad at all and most of it was quiet most of the night was quiet but it's just those the run out to the airport and back and then that uh, being busy between 9 and 1 that's what did it all so time is now 603 I'm parking the car for the owner and when he comes out uh, the car is ready for him and I have to go to the chiropractor so three more nights to go this week okay time is now 5 30 in the morning it's a Wednesday morning that means a Tuesday night just happened and what a Tuesday night it was. I was quite busy a few times. Um, it r was raining most of the night. So it was wet and unpleasant and kind of cold and damp. I, uh, I just counted the money after dropping off my last customer. And by the way, this last customer gets sent to a homeless shelter and I phoned the number and they got the name wrong and the he's not at the same part of the homeless shelter and so I call on the phone but then some guy's walking up behind me and says yeah he's in the annex over there I say well I wish they would tell me that but they don't because they're outsourced and they don't have half the information and they don't give it to you Anyway, I got the customer and he gave he instructed me to go to a certain place out in Langford, which is where I'm just leaving from. I dropped him off in Langford and uh, well, he fell asleep on the way. So we got there and I said, okay, we're arrived. And I said the name of the street. He says, uh, no, we, we're going to the, uh, the Red Barn, you know, the Red Barn, the Red Barn by Esquimalt Road, uh, uh, the Red Barn. I said, no, you told me to go here. I said, and I gave him the name of the street. And he says, oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, I was dreaming. <laughs> he says, yeah, 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 I was coming here. Okay. So I said, hey, you scared me there for a moment. That would have been a big mistake. And he said, yeah, uh, so he, uh, it was like a 30, 
four dollar fare and he gave me 40 and said keep the change and that was just just fine just great thank you very much so I added up all the interacts and all the money $370 for the night that's Canadian dollars that's acceptable that's all right $95 lease it's gonna cost me about $30 in fuel so I've done okay for myself $240 profit approximately yeah that's fine I'm happy going home with that so uh, I did not get enough sleep yesterday. I have a house guest temporarily. The date today is the 20th and she gets her new place on the 1st of October. This is the 20th of uh, September. Yeah, you know, I live in a small bachelor suite, you know, it's not a big place. You can't, two people in there is crowded, right? So, I didn't get enough sleep. Well, I fell asleep with my computer, and then I woke up at a certain point in the afternoon, and she was awake. I said, now it's my turn to have the bed. Yeah. And then she asked me if I slept well afterwards. And I said, well, I didn't sleep as well as if you would not have been there. <laughs> She looked a bit sad and pouty, but she was sad and pouty anyway because she just broke off with her boyfriend, you know, the day before. And, yeah, it's a long, stupid story. It's a lot of drama. I won't get into it. I'm just kind of tired now, it being the end of my night. I'm not accepting any more calls. In fact, I should book off right now. Yeah. Book off. That's it. I've got enough time to get into town. Should I wash the car? Well, I'll go by the car wash and take a look at the car, see what it looks like. Should I put my $2 in the washing machine, in the car wash, and do a quick hose down? Yeah, maybe. Then I'll go deposit some money in the bank. Maybe detail the interior. I don't think it. I don't know if it needs it. I did it yesterday, and I think the owner did it yesterday as well. And I think it's the owner driving today. He hasn't sent me any messages, but I'm guessing it's the owner driving today because. Well, you know who has quit, so, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't enjoy this time of year when the rains start coming. And I'm always tired. Two more nights to go this week. Time is now 6.31 in the morning. I just had to count the money. It's 467. 467, that's a lot. Well, I'll tell you how that happened. It was mostly a busy night. It was mostly one right after another, except between about 12.30 and 3 in the morning whereby I was doing one trip an hour at that time so now 
towards the end, I was sitting in the parking lot. I was watching a YouTube video. I got sent to a hotel. And the guy just had a little backpack. And he went to the airport. Now that was a 50 something dollar ride. And uh, when I was out there, uh, I was just entering the paperwork. And uh, this guy comes up next to the cab. I roll down the window. He says, is there any chance that I can take you to go back into Victoria? I said, yeah, sure. So this is how come I'm late. I had a late one going to the airport, which I cleared at 6 o'clock. And now I had one coming back into town. Took half an hour to do. Another 60-something dollars. Uh... Yeah, it was 67 and I think he gave me 75. So this is how I got $467. And now it's uh, morning traffic is starting to get in the way. And I just, uh, well, I guess I'll go wash the car for the owner because he's taking over after me. And Then I'm going to fuel it, park it, go home. Oh, this was a long night, and I worked hard. I'm just tired. I'm just very tired. I'm glad I had uh, an entertaining um, chat with the customer on the way back into town. He was from uh, Louisville, Kentucky, and he's here for work, and his wife was there with him, but... They couldn't get his wife on the plane tomorrow to go back home. So she had to go on an earlier plane uh, to go back home. And uh, one day earlier than him. So, and he had to get back into town, I guess. He has to work one more day or something. So uh, yeah, we took him to the hotel and uh, that was an entertaining chat. It kept me awake. Uh, it, it kept me awake. I didn't have any problems nodding off. But it, I did get a couple hours of sleep earlier this morning. So uh, that, that helped. That helped a lot. Well, hiccups. I don't often get hiccups. But I guess I had a couple there. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm seeing daylight even. I, I was beginning to miss that. I was beginning to miss daylight just because the days are getting so much shorter that at the end of my shift it's still dark. But now you can see over my shoulder here there's uh, there's daylight out there. Or twilight. I guess it's twilight. Yeah, one more night to work this week. Can't wait till it's over. I'm exhausted already. Well, I'm here at the airport. It is now Friday morning. The time is 3, 5.39. So there's just enough time for me to get back into town for the end of my shift at six o'clock. It has been a busy night. Uh, I did 370. And I did 370 with most of the fares being short trips. Most of the fares being short trips. And now, of course, finishing off with a run to the airport. Uh, but I'm, I'm tired. I worked hard this week. Uh, yesterday... I had one coming out to the airport at the very end of the shift and then one going back in from which I cleared at about 6.30 downtown. Um, now I'm just, I'm just bagged, I'm knackered, I'm tired, I'm really, really exhausted. I'm beyond exhausted right now. I would like to go home, have a couple drinks and then go to sleep, but um, 
unfortunately I have an appointment in the morning to uh, give a sample of blood for them to do my blood work they do my blood work every three months because I'm diabetic and they want to monitor my condition well um, I think I'm doing all right But they still want to ma monitor my condition, and my doctor wants to have a record of what my A1C reading was and things like that. What else is there to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to call my mother, too. As soon as I park the car, I'll call my mother, see how she's doing. And after doing that, and then doing the appointment at 7.30 for my blood work, then I'll go home, and then I'll put together this taxi vlog. Hopefully I won't fall asleep in the middle of editing it. <laughs> and hopefully you get to see it not too long after I finish recording. I hate roundabouts. Needless changes in direction, but you know that already. Well, I'm glad it's the weekend. At least it will be as soon as I park this thing. Hope yours is better than mine.